The competition to construct the world's first one-kilometer structure is back in full swing. Following Saudi Arabia's announcement of resuming construction on the Jeddah Tower, Dubai has also revealed plans to restart work on the Dubai Creek Tower. However, there's a twist. The developers have declared a complete redesign of the entire structure. So what modifications have been made and what goes into constructing a skyscraper of such magnitude? First off, let's delve into the progress of the Dubai Creek Tower so far. Initially unveiled in 2016, the project aimed to claim the title of the world's tallest man-made structure, soaring to an impressive proposed height of at least 1,300 meters, surpassing even Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa. This ambitious plan positioned it to potentially outshine its rival, the Jeddah Tower, which, as far as public knowledge goes, stands slightly above 1,000 meters. Despite a pause in 2020, notable groundwork was accomplished on-site, with Imar Properties successfully completing the tower's foundations just two years into construction. However, the actual construction of the main structure lagged behind despite this initial progress. Reports from that time indicated that Imar Properties was still in the process of securing a contractor for the project, leading to delays. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic dealt a significant blow, resulting in the indefinite suspension of construction on the Dubai Creek Tower, fueling rumors that the tower might have been abandoned altogether. While the destiny of the tower remained uncertain, the neighboring Dubai Creek Harbor appeared to have proceeded according to plan. This new, upscale district is situated in the historic Dubai Creek, with the tower serving as its focal point offering captivating views of the harbor to the west, encompassing both downtown Dubai and the Burj Khalifa. Despite the entire development still being a long way from completion, a brief visit to MR Properties' website reveals the substantial progress made as of this year. To the northwest of the tower's site lies an artificial island known simply as Creek Island. This reclaimed waterfront area is already home to a diverse range of luxurious hotels, apartments, and restaurants. Some of the standout features on the island include a five-star waterfront hotel, an 80-berth marina yacht club, and a man-made beach and lagoon. When it's completed, the entire Creek Harbor development is projected to cover an area roughly double the size of downtown Dubai. It is also designed to house up to 200,000 permanent residents and accommodate tens of thousands of tourists simultaneously. If Dubai Creek Harbor proves to be successful, it is on track to evolve into one of the city's best districts in terms of business, tourism, and luxury. After three years of complete silence from Amar Properties, an announcement has been made indicating that the Dubai Creek Tower is presently undergoing a redesign. This revelation suggests that the company has not entirely abandoned the project. According to Mohamed Alabar, the founder of Imar, the redesign is being carried out by an undisclosed international firm chosen through a comprehensive tender process. Alabar describes the new design as a change that will elevate the grandeur and impact of the ambitious project. Although the redesign is not finalized, Alabar is already portraying the new version as even more extravagant than the original, with plans to finalize the concept by April of the following year. Construction on the tower is set to resume one year later. The reason behind this unexpected and sudden redesign remains unknown, but speculation suggests it may be influenced by pressure from Amar Properties' shareholders and executives. The Dubai Creek Tower is a major project for the company, and leaving it abandoned for an extended period may be detrimental to its reputation. Alaber's recent statement contradicts earlier claims about elevating the grandeur of the development, as he now hints that the tower may not surpass the height of the Burj Khalifa upon completion. Limited information indicates that Amar Properties is scaling down the project, possibly due to financial considerations and a desire to deliver value to customers and shareholders. Interestingly, these developments coincide with Amar Properties reporting a 25% increase in sales over the past year and expressing intentions to expand projects aiming to complete 15,000 apartments by year-end. Despite having the resources for the original plan, it appears that Amar is reducing the scale of the design, possibly due to challenges with the original concept or the impracticality of certain elements. Building a skyscraper is a complex task, and the company may be prioritizing a quicker project completion. To ensure the stability of the design up to a height of 1,000 meters, various techniques were implemented. 
Beginning at the base, a three-axis foundation similar to that of the Burj Khalifa was incorporated, providing a unique and iconic look known to the city while contributing to stability. This triangular footprint has been proven to reduce the impact of wind forces, enhancing overall stability. The foundation acts like three individual legs, equally distributing the weight of the structure between the three corners rather than relying on a single central point. Another prominent feature is the sleek and tapering exterior, complemented by strategically placed notches and setbacks throughout the middle. This design ensures that the lower sections of the tower can support the structure's weight as it ascends. The tapering shape minimizes wind forces impacting the main structure, while notches and setbacks enable wind currents to pass through the skyscraper. To further enhance stability, a tuned mass damper, a device reducing vibrations experienced by rigid structures like skyscrapers, was included. Mass dampers, despite buildings appearing solid and fixed, counter sway in the opposite direction, significantly reducing the overall swaying of the building caused by strong winds. This concept was thoroughly researched and implemented in the redesign. If the viewers have enjoyed the video so far, the creators would appreciate their subscription. Beyond stability, ensuring the safety of everyone is another crucial consideration in modern skyscraper design. Incorporating a comprehensive suite of structural monitoring systems is common in today's skyscrapers. These systems monitor vital information, such as wind speed, swaying, fire safety, and plumbing, acting as a control center for the tower. With these systems in place, weaknesses or inconsistencies within the structure can be addressed right away before they become major problems. The third and final consideration in skyscraper design involves aesthetic and design choices. Aesthetic considerations often align with safety and stability concerns. With that, they retained the original design by preserving the net of steel cables, a notable and iconic part of the initial design, adding a unique silhouette to shape the tower. Now, back to the Dubai Creek Tower. Construction is expected to resume next year, attracting international attention as one of the most intriguing skyscrapers under development. With the neighboring Jeddah Tower also resuming construction, the competition to build the world's first one-kilometer structure is officially reignited. Well, that's about it for today's video. Are there any updates that we haven't included? Let us know in the comments below. Do give us a like and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.